Hi friends, this is Kona Jaisima. And many people have been asking me about my Guinness World Records and I thought of sharing my experiences different Guinness World Records. Why did I do those records and what uh, did I gain from it and uh, how did I go about doing all that? I want to share with you. And uh, one of the most important Guinness World Records that I am very proud of is about my giving a speech uh, the longest lecture marathon the longest lecture marathon for 120 hours you heard it right 120 hours means five nights six days without sleeping i gave a speech you understand what does it mean imagine if you don't sleep for a day next day uh, your one mother looks like two mothers in the house imagine you don't sleep two hours your metabolism will actually drop down on third day your heartbeat also will stop and then imagine someone not going to sleep for five nights and six days. And how did I do? And there are a few rules in this uh, longest lecture, Bharatan, that one topic that you have spoken once, you cannot speak the same topic, number one. Number two, uh, any idea you cannot repeat. You can't use LCD projector. You can't use whiteboard. You can't read from the book. Everything has to come from memory. And you cannot repeat the idea as I told you. And most important thing is you need to stand and then you need to speak. 120 hours and what I did I had 120 books and each book I took 20 points like motivation leadership and then self-confidence and then art of parenting man woman magic and then about uh, India Pakistan partition Abraham Lincoln John F Kennedy Martin Luther King Swami Vivekananda about Gandhiji I've taken 120 books and each book I took 20 points and my idea was to speak one book uh, about one book one hour so so I had a big clock in front of me and I started to imagine at 9 o'clock, 9.03, I switched to second point, 9.06, I switched to third point like this. Now 20 points are over, means I finished one hour. So that's how I kept on speaking. And you will ask me this question, Jason Madan, what about your sleep and food? The thing is, if you speak for one hour, you'll be entitled for five minutes of break. If you take nothing to carry forward, but I won't take break. I imagine I have spoken two hours non-stop. Then, I'm entitled for 10 minutes of break. If I've taken nothing to carry forward, but I won't take. Imagine I have spoken three hours non-stop, then I'll be entitled for 15 minutes, but I don't take. So I used to speak non-stop for four hours, then I'll be entitled for 20 minutes break. And uh, here I'm speaking on the stage, adjacent to that was my restroom. I go take out my pad and shirt and lie down. And the way you switch off the fan and 30 to 40 seconds, the fan will come to a stop and I would go to sleep and exactly after 15 minutes someone will come and wake me up then I rush to the you know, restroom I brush my teeth and then take bath and, and then toilet and then change my dress and little fruit juice and a few dry fruits and I'll be on the stage exactly after 19 minutes of sleep 19 minutes of my rest time and that 15 minutes of my sleep is equal to 4 hours of normal sleep and that's what I have done a lot of practice and about the diet, about the kind of meditation that I have done. 120 hours of speech. And then you will be wondering that how, how is it possible? It is possible that anyone can do because one thing is if someone can do, anyone can do. And today uh, many people, they send their children to my workshops uh, to learn memory about motivation. There are many people who can teach as good as I teach. Why? Memory is a skill. I have taught many trainers right now many trainers in india are my students 90 percent of them so they too can teach the same technique but parents want me to be with the children because they say not only the memory but if my kid is with jesima they are going to learn few life lessons because he's a winner he's an achiever because memory is a skill but the question biggest question is how a person a 120 hours he can still talk and he can still be alive and that's how I become more and more famous and it is all about human beings ability human beings desire if you want anything is possible and out of all my records this is the most uh, you know uh, most uh, sought after and this is the record that I really like it and people they look when they read about my you know profile I say 120 hours you give a speech who are the people who listen to you I said people they don't have to sit for two hours every four hours i had some people going in some other people coming in but i as a speaker would continue and my actually my record had come live on bbc as well it got recorded it got telecasted because has achieved the unique distinction of giving a lecture for nearly 111 hours 
Jayasimya Ravalala lectured non-stop for six days and five nights. He left his job with the Indian Air Force to give motivational lectures to students and executives. There were just two people at the start of his marathon session. By the end, that figure had risen to 150. That's it from this edition of Asia Today. Don't forget to tune in for People were so much interested to see how a human being can be still alive after five nights of not going to sleep. How can he still be alive? And every four hours, a doctor would come and test my pulse and my heartbeat. Is my sugar level, is that okay? Everything is fine because some people, even they might die in the process, they might get into coma. But then I went through all that and that's what brought me to where I am today. The point that I'm trying to tell you is human beings have got human's potential. We are like an eagle. Eagle doesn't know how high, how far it can fly unless it opens its wings. So we human beings don't know what we can do. And second thing is, if someone can do, anyone can do. This is the uh, pretext of NLP. If someone can do, anyone can do. If Jaisima can do, you can do. If Abdul Kalam from small village in Ramachandran, if he can go on to become the number one scientist and the India's president, if he can go on to Bharat Ratna, if Modi from Tea seller, if you can go into Prime Minister, you can do, I can do, everyone can do because that is a fact of life. Every one of us can do. Only thing is you have to challenge yourself constantly, continuously and you have to keep pushing yourself and you know that you reach the pinnacle. And that's how I have done this record and which is the most, okay, like a record of mine, 120 hours of longest marathon. So any of you are keen to break my record, Call me up and I will tell you how you can go about it and you too can actually become a winner and champion. It is so easy in life to be a winner. It is very difficult to lose, very easy to win. And that's what I want to share with you. Next time we shall meet up again with some other thought. Till, till then keep smiling, keep celebrating. Thank you. Bye-bye.